This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast. Back at Richmond, caution is out. Joey Clanton has just crashed in turn four in the 27 car. And he has used up both ends of that one. We knew it couldn't last too long. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. we don't mean that yeah. in a bad way by any means. Well, as always, told you when something happens and we're in commercial, we'll come back immediately and show it to you. And we are under caution because of a crash involving that car for the first time. It's out at lap 17. And it's shorter than it was when it started. Yes, it is. You know what? For as hard as he hit it, it's not in bad shape. Looks like he did it all by himself. Oh. That would be a Richmond rookie lesson. Obviously, but uh, he's a kid that definitely is one to keep an eye on here. Trouble turn two. And Shane Wallace. He has been up into the wall at the right side of his car. No yellow yet. Scott Briggs is saying, please, please yeah, really. give me a caution. Well, Shane gets to the pit road. We... Ooh, wow. That looks like something broke on that car. That ended up being all right. Whoa, caution. Car on the wall, Randy McDonald, turn three. Okay, one well, party was right on on his pit information. Uh, he he's may get help oh. here. He's I can feel helped. a bump getting up. Yeah. yeah, kneeled. Yes, he did. And that's going to leave a mark. Caution. Turn two. Got a car up there scraping along the wall. It was Casey Mears. Mears. Yep. Knocked in the right front corner. On the time. Oh, car. hang on, Casey. He's still... Um... Something broke on the thing. <laughs> I'd say that looks like it's towed out a little yeah. bit. We're back in Richmond. We're under caution. The championship leader, Scott Riggs, is involved again. He had lost a number of spots over the last lap. And a lot of sparks were showing from under the right front corner of his car. He was trying to get the pit road, but he wasn't clear of traffic. Yeah, something was definitely We thought broke. the right front was down, but it looks like it's actually up and... Well, it's just, it, so it that, is going down now. Remember, we got the report from pit road that they had a shock that was um, broken? Well, they got all kinds of broken stuff now. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's uh, go back and reconstruct this for you here. Here's Riggs. He's losing all those spots to those cars on the inside. Watch the sparks when he goes into one. Yeah, something, that's something breaking, I would think. I mean, it could be the tire going down. He's just not seeing it flat yet. But his crew has already called him on the radio, called for two right side tires. And he's trying to get down to pit lane, but he's got all these cars coming. And Mike Bliss. Poor Mike Bliss. Nowhere to go. Ends up on top of him. That was Jay Sauter that caught a piece of Bliss going by. Biffle. His engine's finally given up. Remember, we heard a long time ago that the water temperature was going up, and it has given up with 12 laps to go. Don't you know that's the last thing Johnny Sauter wanted to see? Well, you can look at it two ways. No lap traffic, 17 yep. laps, hopefully a clear track. Yep, that uh, that's, could be a good thing. So caution's out. Jump to the outside. for the lead. Oh, oh, hang on. What a that save. is great. That's good stuff. Right Here there. comes Kevin Harvick, <laughs> three wide for the race lead. This won't work. Sure it will. Three really talented drivers right there. <laughs> you got it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Shane Meal. Make that four talented. Oh, oh there we gets go. Jason Keller hard into the wall. Caution is out. Oh, there's a lot of debris down oh. there, too. Oh, oh, easy. Jason Keller, one of the contenders for the NASCAR Busch Series Championship, crashed heavily. There's trash everywhere up here, but they don't stop it. With five laps to go.
the pace car is out in front of the field and stopping them on the back straightaway. If they had come around one more time, off a of turn two, shoots down to the inside of the back stretch. He just slides up the racetrack and gets right into Jason Keller. Where he was at on the racetrack, he was so low that it was just bad position to try to go into the corner that hard. He's just trying to salvage that, trying to salvage his position on the racetrack. Top of the screen, watch how hard Keller hits. Remember, that's the new safer barrier, though, here at Richmond, the softer wall. Those big styrofoam blocks in behind the steel designed to try and absorb some of the impact. And that was a driver's side hit for Keller. Now, this is off turn two. Uh, clips the Vicker there in the left rear a little bit. What I've got to do to get a good restart, maybe even choke up Matt Kenseth on it. Got a slow car in the back straightaway. Tammy Jo Kirk, not sure she's under power. Don't know if we'll get all three of these laps. Green to the finish, but here we go. Johnny Sauter, Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick. Oh, Matt is, oh, I thought Matt had a run there for a second on that high side. But... 49 car turned off on the back straightaway in an opening for the rescue vehicles. We're under green. Kenseth outside. Looking. Two laps to go. Matt Kenseth on the outside of Johnny Sauter. Johnny's got a hold. Just... Can't do it. Kenseth has led the most laps tonight, 114 of the 248 that have been run. These last two might be the most important. Trouble behind him. David Stremme's been scuffed up into the outside wall. He keeps going. We stay under green. We're on the last lap. Sauter with a chance to try and come back. Will he put the bumper to him in three? Looking low. No, he's looking for Oh, boy. Here we go. Harvick. Is that Harvick giving him thumbs up? Yeah. I don't think he was. <laughs> yeah, I thought Harvick was giving him the thumbs up. Oh, what was that? Whoa. Harvick is um, running interference for his uh, well, Richard Childress teammate. I will say this. My only opportunity, my only chance to win a Bush Grand National race with the Shell team and Joe Gibbs Racing. I led it into three and four, and Matt Kenseth gave me the bumper and to win his first Bush race, so things kind of make full circle eventually, and he had to know what was coming there. I mean, it wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't wreck him, and he didn't try to wreck him, he just tried to get by. What was it, was that Rockingham? Rockingham. See, I remember that, nobody told Johnny. me. Johnny's going to the old victory lane, they've moved victory lane here in Richmond. Maybe he's just doing donuts. Who knows? I believe we know the better side of the house. Is that Harvick? Is that Harvick and Kenseth's window having a talk? Yes, it is. David Stremme came to rest just past the start-finish line after his car lost a tire in that last lap, bounced off the wall. Agreeing to disagree? Well, I'm going to go to that restaurant down the street this way. Yeah. But that one down there has got a special on chicken noodle soup. In there. Discussing with them. Exactly. I, told, I delivered that box of paintings down to your motor coach last night. Johnny Sauter's second NASCAR Bush Series win in his 64th try. He won at Chicagoland 41 races ago. Going on here. It looks like the pit crews are going to be. Get back. That was all right as long as the drivers were talking and everything was civilized. Tempers on a short track. 
This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. This has been a presentation of TNT Sports.